I wanted to do a short video showing why I think Amazon is on the cusp of a very large breakout and where I think it's going. Um, this morning I wrote up a long thread on the business side of things and all that has come true. I mean, everything I've said since earnings has been fine. The stock's up almost 25% in three weeks. But I want to talk about the technical breakout because what I'm seeing here is a very powerful potential move, assuming the market holds up, right? This isn't just Amazon alone, it's the market. And what you're seeing here is on the weekly, you're seeing an inverse head and shoulders, right? Here's one shoulder, here's the other, here's the head, and here's the neckline, right? And so we've been trying to get over this neckline at 146.57 for you know two years, basically. Last summer, that's where we got rejected, came lower, came up again this September. Rejected lower. Now we went back up. Today we crossed over it, but we didn't close over it. So we peeked our head over into a new range. And you gotta remember, Amazon's been in this range for pretty much two years. So moving up to a new range opens it up to a whole new uh, level of prices. So that's what we're seeing here. If we look at the intraday, right? You look at the 15 minute today. And this is the remarkable part. Right, because you have people that say, oh, well, technical analysis isn't, isn't real. Okay, well, I drew that line at 146.57 a long time ago, and you can see here, we rejected it all day long. These long wicks, these are all sellers, they pushed it back down, you see, we pushed back up right into it, we sold off, we made another attempt, sold off, and we tried again, and even in the after hours, we still couldn't cross. So that 146.57 is going to be a battleground for many days it's not going to be easy okay that's also you know big fibonacci extension level and you can see here the rsi is pretty extended um it wouldn't surprise me if amazon went sideways for a bit let the rsi cool off and then it made a push up but the bottom line is this thing is set to explode okay we pull up the monthly we break through here there's a thin volume pocket back up to 180, which is right where this whole cluster is, right? Because we didn't spend much time there, right here. You can see here, we didn't spend much time here. So there's not much in the way and it can run basically straight to a 180, 170, wherever you want up higher and then consolidate there before pushing to all time highs. Now you look at Microsoft, you look at Apple, they're in the three trillion club right now. They're just about a little under it. Amazon is 1.5 trillion, okay? And even if Amazon went to like 220, it would still be significantly less than Microsoft or Apple. And that's insane because Amazon's free cash flow uh, two years from now will exceed what Microsoft and Apple are doing today. And so it's insane to talk about how mispriced Amazon is, but at the same time, Amazon's also in a weird spot where it hasn't shown anything for so long. So slowly, right, they've posted a couple good quarters in a row now. As they continue to show that they really are back, it's going to re-rate higher. Um, I think right now, fair value is somewhere around the 180 range, uh, just based on the numbers we have now. And obviously those numbers are gonna continue to grow and hires on the way. But I think right now, the big level, 146.57, we get over that. This has a chance to run $30, let's say, in a fairly short period. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if it was 170 going into Q1 earnings, if we can get over this, right? Um, anyhow, my, my stance is, look, we're on the cusp of a major, major breakout. You have to be an Amazon here. Uh, obviously I've been in it for a very long time. You guys see my book and my sub stack every day. You see the options flows I post every day. It's been the most bullish name for months. Uh, I think the risk reward, even from here after this run it's had is spectacular. No, I don't like all the little gaps it's created now on the way up, right? If we pull up the daily, you can see a gap today. You can see, you know, gap here, another gap here. I mean, there's a lot of gaps, another one there. <sighs> Do I think these are gonna fill? They should not, they shouldn't. They may, but they shouldn't. And so uh, realistically, it's, it's go time for Amazon. It's been just too long. It's finally reverting to the mean and everything looks good. Everything looks good. If the market can hold up, Amazon can make a significant push. And I still think it's gonna be the top performing mega cap in 2024. 
it's had a tremendous uh, 2023. I think right now it's up, what, 80% right now this year? I mean, it started the year at 80. It's at 145. I, I don't know the exact numbers where it started. I think it started at 80. And uh, it's had a tremendous year. And it's going to have an even better 24 as it starts uh, generating some serious, serious FCF. And, you know, at the end of this month, we've got reInvent in Las Vegas, which is their big AWS event. I would expect some pretty big announcements there from Amazon. They always come out with announcements on their chips or whatever's going on over there. And, you know, maybe we'll hear more about this Olympus AI they were talking about earlier this week that's going to go head to head with ChatGPT. Uh, maybe maybe they've got some something that could surprise the world. Whatever it is, whatever it is, we're sitting right at a major breakout spot, and this is it. This is what Amazon bulls have waited for. You know, maybe we get a surprise. Maybe tomorrow morning when Berkshire Hathaway drops their 13F, maybe Warren Buffett added some Amazon. We we already know he has a billion dollar position in Amazon, and he doesn't have many tech companies. He bought the stake in 2019. He hasn't added to it, but. You know what? If Warren wants to make a push at his next Apple-like trade, this is this is it in my book. Um, you know, and Warren is known to like these infrastructure plays. He likes railroads. Um, Amazon's uh, infrastructure company, right? AWS is infrastructure. Logistics is infrastructure. So he's in the name already. He's not in things like Google or Meta or Microsoft, but. You know what? Maybe he ups his stake tomorrow, and that's the catalyst that pushes us up over that resistance. Who knows? But I know that you got to be long this stock right here. Whatever happens, if it pulls back again, I mean, it's only done it multiple times over the last few years. You just you have to do it, and that's my take. I I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's see what what comes of Amazon. I think the best days are ahead of it right now, and investors are foaming at the mouth for these times after the last two years. So anyways, have a good night and I will see you another time.